Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net, and in this video I'm going to be going over some of the command prompt basics in Windows. So if we begin. I have had many questions about command prompt. It is one of the things which baffled me for many years, but now I understand it over the last few years as I have had to use it more. Well, a lot of people say, well, how do I access command prompt? Where do I find it? Well, on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you just type it in the box here, cmd.exe. But as I'm on Windows XP for this tutorial, I will be typing in in the run here. Go to start and then run cmd.exe. That will open this, a black box, as you see here. It just says 1985 to 2001, and here you've got C, Documents and Settings Owner. So this is cmd.exe. There's also another one, but this one's a lot older, and it's called Command. So this one's called Command.com, and as you see here, it says Microsoft Windows DOS 1990 to 2001. And here it says Document document one owner so you're probably saying what's the difference between these two is there any difference well yes there is a difference Microsoft Windows DOS was used many many years ago in Windows 95, 98, NT all the very early version of Windows and basically what it is you can run old games etc within DOS so you can run games in DOS but I'm not going to show you any of that today as we will be concentrating on the cmd.exe just one thing you may be wondering why you says why it says document one and that says documents and settings well there was an eight character limitation in DOS so you could only use eight characters until Windows 98 and 95 were released and then there was something like a 200 just over 200 limit characters but as you see here that's why it's abbreviated it with a little dash and a number one so you've got to refer to documents and settings as document one just if you're wondering so as we're not using that we'll just quit that like so another way of accessing it if you don't want to use it via run or typing it in you can just close this off you can Go to your desktop, new, shortcut, cmd.exe, or command.com, just click finish, and then you have a shortcut here, to the cmd.exe. By double clicking that, it will then open this black box, and here we are again. But this time it says c dot dot backward slash windows, so this time we're in the windows directory, so we're just going to go back to the other one and start from documents and settings backward slash owner well basically you're in the directory documents and settings so if you go to my start my computer local disk C here you will find documents and settings so this is where we are and within here we're in the file owner so we're in here so if we want to go back and we want to go to this folder which is documents and settings get out of owner what we do is type in cd space dot dot and that will take you up a directory and that is just the same as pressing this button here so now we are here if you want to get back you just type here you type in dir to see the directories which are in documents and settings and as you see here there's lots of gibberish there you can see the files here all users custom settings and owner which is what we can see over here <clears throat> but you've got the time and the date and what file type etc but we don't want that so we're going to type in dir space slash b and basically what this does is makes it understandable for us so now it's just listed them all users custom settings and owner and it's a lot more simple for you to read so that's all for part one please stay tuned for part two where i'll be going over attributes and much more but until next time head over to the world of tech.net bye for now